Last but not least in our schedule for today is a presentation of evaluation of economic impacts of cyber threats on key areas of the information environment. And this presentation is prepared by Lukáš Pavlík and Jiří Blahuta, and I believe it will be presented by Lukáš Pavlík. Lukáš, welcome to the studio. You have now the floor, so please present your, your paper. Okay, thank you, Mr. Menčík. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, again. Uh, my name is Lukáš Pavlík. I am researcher and academic staff at Moravian uh, Business College in Olomouc. And in this presentation, I would like to introduce you uh, our research in the field of cybersecurity. So the title of uh, our paper is Evaluation of Economic Impacts of Cyber Threats uh, on the Key Areas of the Information Environment. Uh, on this slide, you can see uh, the outline of uh, our presentation. The first, I will talk about introduction uh, into area of cybersecurity. At uh, second, uh, I will talk about methods that were used in our research. At third, I will uh, focus on uh, main results. And finally, I will talk about discussion and possible future research. Okay, in the last few years, uh, small and medium-sized organizations have uh, been increasingly exposed to cyber attacks. Uh, these cyber attacks are more sophisticated every year, and attackers, uh, thank you very much, and uh, attackers uh, often exploit uh, malicious files that can be downloaded by users uh, through their computer networks. Uh, so cyber attacks can have very serious uh, financial impacts, and not only for the organization's tangible assets, but also for intangible assets. And uh, these financial impacts include a very uh, wide range uh, of financial damages and defects, which may include uh, damage to physical parts of the information systems, like uh, hardware, servers, etc or a breach of integrity, availability, and confidentiality of sensitive data. Uh, this data can be about uh, customers, about business partners, or about know-how. And expressing uh, the price of these areas is rather problematic. So the aim of this paper was to identify all areas in uh, information environment, which are necessary for economic, or uh, insurance purposes to value. Uh, now I'm moving uh, on to the methods uh, that were used in our research. Uh, the definition of areas uh, which can be affected by the impacts of cyber threats uh, were uh, based on the, some several factors. Uh, the first factor is uh, questionnaire survey. Uh, this research took place in 2019. Uh, in uh, 20 questions in the Czech, in 20 organizations, sorry, in the Czech Republic, and was based uh, the respondents' uh, answers to 20 questions concerning the organization's uh, security against cyber threats and their impacts. Uh, so the name of the organizations uh, that were the subject of the research um, are hidden for uh, security reasons, but uh, on this slide you can see the map uh, with marked places where our organizations are uh, located. Uh, to illustrate how uh, questions and answers correlate, I'm going to show you uh, several tables that describe the main results of the research. Uh, the first table I'm going to present is focused on uh, open questions. As you can see, uh, this table uh, is focused on uh, information environment of these organizations, such as number of um, information systems, uh, recovery of sensitive data, or possible most uh, valuable assets. Uh, the second table uh, shows uh, uh, closed questions. Um, uh, this table is focused on uh, some sensitive data. Uh, hardware or some experiences with uh, cyber attacks in these organizations. And uh, in this table, maybe you can see some, uh, some uh, perception of these organizations 
to area of uh, insurance against cyber risks. Uh, the main aim of a uh, questionnaire survey was to identify all areas which can be affected by the impacts of cyber threats. And based on the findings, it can be uh, stated that uh, the areas they, that may be most affected by the impacts of cyber threats or attacks uh, are hardware, software, or reputation of the organization. So the other costs uh, that uh, may be represent a significant financial burden include costs of data reconstruction or recovery, uh, some fines uh, that uh, may be required by supervisory authorities, or less than over. Uh, at this point, I would like to summarize the research that I have presented. Uh, so the main aim of this paper was to identify some uh, areas which can be affected by the impact of cyber threats. And uh, we can see that the most uh, endangered areas are hardware, software, or reputation of this organization. Among uh, other areas uh, include costs of reconstruction and recovery data, uh, fines, or less than over. And we have some uh, several challenges in this area that can be uh, covered by further research. For example, uh, determined expression of financial uh, uh, impacts on this area and tangible or intangible assets. So we reached the end of my presentation. Thank you very much uh, for your attention, ladies and gentlemen. And if you have any questions, so I'm available. Thank you again.